In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a metallic cake base with a steel plate pattern like this one using fondant. My cake base design series continues, so be sure to check out my previous tutorials to see how I made these beautiful designs. If you're new to my channel and interested in ways to be creative with your cake decorating, be sure to subscribe for more tips and tutorials. And if you're ready to take your skills to the next level, check out my cake decoration beginner's guide, which is linked in the description below. Now let's get started. We'll need the following supplies. A complete list can be found in the description below. As I use these supplies throughout the video, I will call them out by name. There will be a couple of exceptions. I'll be using a plastic texture sheet with this steel plate pattern. I will also be working with a 12 inch square black cake base in this video. I use a small amount of solid white vegetable shortening to coat my hands. This will prevent the fondant from sticking from my hands and fingers. The first step is to open the fondant and knead it until it's pliable. Now, if your fondant seems really dry and brittle after kneading it and easily develops an elephant skin texture, you'll want to spritz it with a little bit of water to add some moisture. See how much more stretch I can get now without the fondant tearing? Now, this is the pliability we want whenever we work with fondant. Once I'm done kneading, I dust my surface with my dusting pouch full of cornstarch. This will prevent my fondant from sticking to the surface. Next, I roll out my fondant to about an eighth of an inch thick. You'll wanna avoid rolling the fondant too thin at this point. Next, using my finger spray bottle, I lightly spritz water onto the top of my cake base. Then I transfer my fondant onto the top of my cake base like this. If you see any air bubbles as you roll your fondant, remove them by piercing with a straight pin and applying some gentle pressure. Next, I'll remove the excess fondant with my rolling fondant cutter. To get a closer cut, I use a sharp knife directly against the side of the cake board like this. And now that the fondant is placed, it's time to add the steel plate texture with this plastic texture sheet. With a textured side of the sheet facing up, I position the sheet and use a small rolling pin to gently press the texture into the fondant. Be sure to get close to the edge of the texture sheet, but don't roll over the edge. Next, I gently lift the texture sheet to reveal the beautifully textured fondant. Next, I will align the pattern of the texture sheet, reposition and repeat the steps until the entire top of my cake base is textured. All of that pressure has caused excess fondant to extend beyond the edge of the cake base. So using a sharp knife, again aligned to the base, I cut and remove the excess fondant. Now it's time for the airbrushing. I grab some gloves, a turntable, and a small piece of shelf liner to keep my cake base from shifting. I'll be using my Pache airbrush machine. Chef Master airbrush food coloring in the color metallic silver and a very small amount of grain alcohol. And this is for cleaning up later. After placing several drops of my airbrush color into the cap, I press the trigger and pull back to spray the color onto a piece of paper towel. Last time I used my airbrush machine was to airbrush wafer paper in shades of purple. So I'm going to spray until the silver comes out. And now we're ready. With my cake base on the turntable, I proceed to airbrush the textured fondant. Whenever I run out of airbrush color, I refill the cup. 
Be careful not to do this directly over your board in case you accidentally spill the airbrush color. Once the airbrush board has dried for about 30 minutes, I apply a layer of clear edible glaze spray. This will give the cake base some extra shine and help to block excessive moisture. To finish the fondant adjacent to the sides of the base, I use a little bit of black gel paste color and paint the edge like this. This part is completely optional, but it gives our base a nice finished look. Using metallic airbrush color tends to really clog the cup. So I use a bit of grayed alcohol to unclog it by pouring it into the cup and continuously spraying until the cup comes clean. And here's our finished board. I created this silver steel plate metal look for a minion cake that I made recently. I was very pleased with the overall look. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to be notified when I upload a new cake decorating related tutorial. As always, thanks for watching.